everything from here. Um, I want to thank uh, the entire Biafran people, especially the traders at home, who have been willingly, voluntarily obliging to the seat at home that is uh, selected initially by the Directorate of State before it was cancelled. But because of the love you have for Mazen Namde Khan, you decided to voluntarily, peacefully, and happily at the same time, staying at home for the love you have for your son, your brother, and your father, Mazen Namde Khan. But um, along the line, the distractor came in to try to hijack the seat at home that you and the entire family has been observing. You have been observing this seat at home before autopilot came into existence. You have been observing this seat at home before Biafran government in exile surfaced as the handwork of Nigerian government. Now, they want to put themselves in the shoe to make sure that they, they, they are the face of that Monday sit at home. To make sure that they force themselves in. That's why they started putting Tuesday sit at home, Wednesday sit at home, Sunday sit at home, Saturday sit at home. But none of them worked out. People were normally peacefully going about their normal business. But on that Mondays, you people should also go in as their own way of, you know, supporting the struggle, which we generally appreciated. Now, Nigerian government have to come in and hijack this uh, seat at home. Now, let me tell you what they did to many of you. There is no seat at they home. Came in. They do peace, sit at home. They started uh, never. challenging it has never worked the in the history of humanity. Sit at home. You do this. Sit at home. 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 They started attacking the leadership of the struggle. They started attacking the finance. Only for them to be relevant in the society. So that they will now gain ground. And then destroy the handwork of Mazen Namlekan. And he will become irrelevant anywhere he is. And then you will see how the Afghan government in Ezra will die down on that one day. But we swore not to allow such to happen. Now, on 25th, Petamba, being the governor of um, Enugu State, decided to act like they normally do anytime they come in. Both Soludo, both Hopos, all of them involve themselves in such acts because they are being sent by Nigerian government. Because any time they are being sworn in, they start the Muslim power on the effort of people, which is sit at home. But this criminal in Finland, on 25th, he started making noise. Go out, open your shop, and if anything happens, I'm going to take revenge. I will, my armies are there. My liberation army are everywhere. They are going to launch back an attack in our territory never not while we have our active and current Biafra liberation army not while we have our well armed eastern security network for this to establish a well armed defense system of Biafra I assure you to now the casualties happened we didn't see any Biafra liberation army what we saw is a letter written to United Nations to come to their rescue. So you mean army now have become an administrator who write a letter to United Nations to come to your rescue, but you have an army. Then he jumped into Twitter to make a, their normal noise, which they call a breaking news or which they call a state of the nation. On that in the Twitter noise, it is all about analyzing Petamba. How he used to maltreat the wife. How he stole money meant for Enugu State. How he's an illegitimate governor of Enugu State. 
And he's in criminal assist. We don't know all this since before we started fighting for the other issue. That Peter Ba in the month of June collected five billion naira federal allocation. In addition to that, the Sabati local government collected five point one billion naira from the federal government. There is no project, nothing has been done with that money. In the month of July, Peter Ba collected eleven billion naira. Oh. You are telling people how people beat and bar is a criminal. All of us know. So what is new about that? So all you can jump into Twitter is to tell us about how Peter Bar is a criminal, not to defend those you are claiming that you are in charge of. So that's why the traders are beating many of you because um, you are in a mist of dice assistance now. The mist of devil and the blue sea, they call it. Now look at the situation they put many of you now. They try to take in charge of sit at home that you, you people have been doing voluntarily without having anybody to hold responsible. If they say sit at home, many of you will come out now to do your market on a normal day that is not on Monday. Nigerian government will use that their pronouncement of come out now will kill you, what all do. We'll come and keep many of you in the shop. Now, if they put this at home, you say you're not going to stay at home, you are going to uh, come out. You will be a victim. Then if they say, okay, I want to obey this at home out of fear of being killed, your shop will be sealed. Can you see the situation they put many of you now in? If you stay at home, you are in trouble. You come out, you are in trouble. That is the agenda. That is the, the situation you find yourself, which I know is not easy. Because uh, I can't tell you that it's easy to solve. But the only thing I want to leave here before I go is that the solution to this is to hunt this young man down. Find where he is, how to lure him in, and he know, he know that he can't cross anywhere in Europe. He only stuck in Finland. Even the time the Biafran went there, he wasn't anywhere to be found. He was inside. He told many of you that he, he, he traveled to Australia. No way, he didn't travel anywhere. He's just in Finland. He knew that he's a subject of ridicule any time we see him. You are doing Biafran restoration. You are not only enemy to the Nigerian government. You are not even an enemy to the Afghan people. You are enemy to people you claim you are in the struggle. You have a cabinet. Where are your cabinets? You have the minister for police. You have a um, defense minister. You have army chief of army staff in your cabinet. Where are they? Now you are writing to the United Nations letter to come and rescue you. So, the issue still remains that Mazenam Bekan was come out. The lawyers are doing the thing they're supposed to do. I'm going to draw this cut here. When they tell you that uh, Senate are speaking about it, the governors are know is how to stop it at home, how to extradite the criminal. All these things are noise that is not real. They are not talking about how to free Mazen and the Kano, which is you think is the reason why you are doing that at home. They're only talking how to stop it and to kill many of you. So that is why there's a way to do things and get it right. The matter is in the court. Mazen Nam Bekan in 2017, he came out. Some of you are making noise. If not because of this, it at home now. Eh, we are forgetting on you. If not because of this, it at home. We have, in 2017, do you sit at home to bring Mazen Nam Bekan out? Look at him walking out majestically. This is the job of the leadership and at the same time, the legal team. They will still do it again and they are doing it. You can't kill yourself because of Mazen Nam Bekan. He will not be happy for, to hear that. You have to be sensible. He must come out and the struggle must continue. So, uh, this is the thing that many of you should understand. Look at him walking out from, from prison in 2017. Or give my Or make you a noise. I pity for many of you that are putting your life on this. And I know that some of you that are doing this on non men. I saw many of you yesterday running around the market causing calamity, using stone to be throwing 
the police and the military. It, or you yeah, have shock. So the army they gave many of you is just to carry to. I saw a lot of you now. All these people that used to make noise of sit at home. I saw a lot of them yesterday. And that's the what prompted these people to begin to shoot. I leave it here. So you know it. And what is my crime? I had a meeting with all the governors of the Southeast. And the day I was having this meeting, this same man who was accosted in Nuremberg was upstairs listening to our conversation. Some of you don't even know what transpired when I attended that very meeting with the governors. In the company of Professor Ben Wabeze and Evangelist Elio Tuko. They are my witness. They are there. What did I ask for? Do you know what I asked for? Come on, Second Niger Bridge. To build on the Sha Enugu Road. Build the water Enugu Road. To open Wari Seaport. Open the water seaport. Open Calabar Seaport. Open Calabar Airport. Open, um, um, make Enugu more viable. That's all I asked for. And I'll leave the election boycott. That's all. I didn't even ask them to give me Biafra. Do you know these people could not take this to Asarok? Because they were terrified. To bring infrastructure, to bring development to their own people, they were frightened of the Fulani Eagles in Asarok. Which is, of course, Abakiyari, because then uh, Buhari was there and Jubri had come in. Now you understand it very clearly? Ask them, did I ask for Biafra to warrant sending the army to come and kill me? I asked for employment opportunities for those who are unemployed, for the teeming graduates we have who cannot find work anywhere. That's what I asked. They have the papers. Go and ask them. When you met in Nam Bekano in Enugu, in Ifa Yuguani's um, conference um, 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 room, did he ask for Biafra? The answer is no. I asked for very common. I said, go and bring something for our people. But all they cared about was their family and their clothes. Do you think we have the charge card? I'm not going to be social media. IPOB was busy dying to make your lives better. That's all we have been doing. And today, as I speak, this very night, Enugu airport will be closed down. Has Wode complained? No. Do you know why? They want us to fly through Lagos, fly through Abuja, and every flight comes in in the evening. So you lodge in a hotel. You improve the economy of the West and of the North. But we have no airport anymore. Some of you don't know this. It's all been lost in the hoo-ha about Nuremberg. And it's quite interesting that Nuremberg was where all the evil men were tried under Nazi, or during the Nazi regime after the Second World War. It's a very, you know, um, it's kind of very poignant, isn't it? That's, that's where this very mass resistance started from. I expect Europe has to do the same thing to their corrupt politicians. And the Middle Belt the same. Fulani is gone. They, are, they have Alamajri culture. They are a feudal system. They run a feudal system that they are impervious to reason. They can never reason. From now till the kingdom come, Fulani youths can never attack their so called um, uh, Rankadeda, whatever they call them. But I'm sure Yorubas can. They should also do the same thing. Because the USA you love so much, America and uh, Britain and uh, Germany, they love to go and eat yam. There are people revolted against corrupt politicians. Go and read your history books. They're all there. But all you're interested in is, um, is um, social media, what you can write. They, gave, they, they stood short for him, gave him there. Did I commit any crime? They, don't know. they, they, they won't understand. Now, listen again. Everything I read out, I ask you to Google. You're asking me why I'm angry. You're asking IPUB, why are you people angry? Why are you upset? And now, today, you know why we're upset. You will know why we're upset. There's another one. Pro-Donald Trump rally in Nigeria leaves 20 dead.
many missing. What was our crime? Alama juries of foreign people were demonstrating against Trump in Lagos and in Abuja. We assembled a new culture in Port Harcourt to celebrate Trump. They did not kill those who were against Trump in Abuja and Lagos. They came to you watch and killed over 20 of us. And you're asking me why I'm angry. Now you understand it, don't you? The funniest thing is that the American ambassador did not even tell the State House what happened. You know what they said? There was a clash. There was a clash between pro Biafra groups and the Nigerian military in Port Harcourt. That was their official dispatch to State Department in Washington. It was a lie. Clash. My happiness is that my Yoruba brothers have now seen what we've been seeing all along. Look at Shawere was locked up for no reason. People gathered to try and protest. They said, uh, at least at last, they didn't say clash. Wait. But that was exactly what happened to IPOB. Because they were writing from a position of ignorance, of which we have, of course, forgiven them. They would say it's a clash, a clash between protesters and an army. We must protest. It is a constitutional right to protest. Exactly what happened in Nuremberg was a protest, only if you can say it that way. Protest against mediocrity, protest against backward politics, protest against corruption of every form, protest against politics as usual. That is how you should say it. We did it to make your lives better. I pray to Elohim to give you the discerning mind to be able to understand that. You're asking me why I'm angry. You ask IPOB, why are you angry? Why do you do what you do? Here's another reason why. Vanguard covered it. I will, I will sabotage another war on Igbo land. Wudo said with his mouth, I have sabotaged Biafra before. I will sabotage it again. No wonder he's helping me yet yell at his friends by saying his Igbo people, oh, don't worry. The world shouldn't worry. Oh, all those mothers being raped in a boy. Oh, don't disturb yourself. They are being raped by their sons. It's evil men, the youths, raping their mothers. That's what Wudo is saying. The same man that said, I will sabotage Biafra. This is the man you want me to respect. This is the man you want me to love. This is the man you want me to follow his lead. This is the man who has no respect for the death of three over 3.5 million people that he claims to be leading. And some of you claim that you are educated. I feel sorry for education, honestly speaking. The same on Hanese. On one hand, the disabled youth who are causing it, but when the real culprits are, do you know why they bring all these things to us? Because we are the ones checkmating Miyeti Allah. We are the ones IPOP senators. They are our senators, our leaders. Ask them, why must we always use Lagos seaport? You are a senator. Have you ever stood up in the house to say, I want Port Harcourt uh, seaport? You brought her open. The answer is no. How many times have they stopped to say, is the same Atlantic Ocean flowing from, from through Lagos and Warren and Ibocha and also Calabar? Why can't the ship stop in Calabar then? They are closing a nuclear airport. You want us to clap for them. They are there. They kept mute. Like people who are deaf and dumb. Every kilometer in our land is a checkpoint. Why? Because they live in Abuja and in Lagos. Grown up men gossiping. Now we That's all they do. And trying to undermine IPOB and what we are doing. We are not in competition with anybody. No, we are not. And can never be. When we travel, towns shut down. I, I never, I never give advance notice before I travel because if I do, there will be no space for people. So we are not in any competition. All we are trying to do is to save our people. And we cannot be saved with a bunch of criminals and incompetent politicians at the helm of affairs. It is undoable. 
if other ethnic nationalities can do what we did in Nuremberg, in Germany, believe you me, by this time next year, things will be different. You have 24 hours in electricity. I'm telling you the truth. But they can't do it. As you know, they were denied history in school, so nobody can blame them. When you see people talking nonsense on social media, don't blame them, please. They did not have or do not have the benefit of proper scholarship. Scholarship, I mean, is education, not getting money to go to school, please. When Fulani cabals, they never said anything at all. And by the way, for let me just um, uh, go to this very news. Because some of you, some of you, people don't even understand what is happening. They don't understand what is going on. Our people don't know what is going on. It is for those of you defending the indefensible. Those of you who out of, should I say, malice or stupidity or both, have refused to acknowledge the work that IPOB is doing to save you. What we did in Nuremberg is to save you. Nobody hates anybody. But they are there, they are not doing anything. Every year they rig themselves into power. Hey, go, go and contest now. They have written the result. Abba Kiari has written the result with INEC. It's in the fridge. The result of 2023, they've written it already. You, every year you keep partaking in, I should have said four years, in what amounts to an exercise in futility. No wonder you don't have any light, nor running water, nor jobs for that matter. You are a graduate, you are not employed. And you are defending a politician who is responsible for your plight. <laughs> you are the worst fool on earth. Or maybe because of, um, you think if you shout the loudest, he will notice you and then give you some money. That's, that's what you do. Una was here. Maybe if I shout in defense of a problem matter, he will notice me and give me some money. Poor wretched souls. More than when we catch Dave Omar in the U.S. or somewhere, some idiots will come to his defense. But by the, what they say or what the nonsense they are, they are yapping about, we do what needs to be done. When Niamodo went into office or assumed office as the Hanese President General, he said he will eliminate checkpoints. But as he's about to leave in December, there are more checkpoints now than when he assumed office. That is the typical trait of a Fulani slave. Slave, his father was a traitor and a slave to the Fulani. So also is in Yawo. And you want us to be happy with him. Invite him to your We will come there, we will show you, we will teach you a lesson you never forget. In your life. This time around, both the organizer and these slaves will be dealt with together. Our villages are burning and you're eating yam abroad. People without shame. We must, this is Radio Biafra, of course. The program tonight, of course, is for the consumption of, of Biafrans and especially the, the Igbo part of Biafra, to be honest. Um, but we must ventilate this issue, we must say it in the open, so that the whole world, remember, go to the Yala, so the whole world, oh, he's a revered senator, Umugoko, revered in what way? He was the man that stole the money. Ask him for the matter tomorrow. Where is the money that Jonathan gave you for? Enugu, Igbocha, Port Harcourt Express Road, where is the money? So you think Jonathan will be in office and not uh, do anything for our people? Jonathan brought out money. Enugu, Onisha. Onisha, don't worry. Owe, don't worry. Enugu, Do you know those that ate the money? Your so-called like, it is letters. In Abuja, they shared all the money and they ate it. And you want us to to them to go scot free? You are deranged. Says you okay. Keep defending evil now, and one day evil will visit you. Now let me close this program this evening, very brief program, of course, by looking at what Senator Enyina Baluda said about the death of some of his of his constituent. Timobi is from Ngwa. A constituent of Senator Abaribe. Abaribe said, I will mobilize opinion for justice. I will not rest until his assailants are caught and brought to book. That is how a political leader talks. Not to Umokoko. But will he go far? Of course he won't. The powers that be in the north will not allow him to either be a governor or 
to be the speaker or to do something meaningful. Because in Nigeria, they love mediocrity. Uh, that was the seed that Britain planted in Nigeria by promoting the Fulanese that they know themselves as the most backward ethnic group. And today they're everywhere pillaging and killing. And you have 14, not one, not two, 14 Ruga settlements in Enugu. And people still have the guts to ask us, what they, let them come out again and we'll show, show them what we're made of. Right now, this very evening, I thank each and every one of you for listening. And I'm sure you will also propagate this very gospel the best way you know how. That one thing is indisputable. We are not going back. We shall continue. Wherever we find them, we shall disgrace them. As simple as that. It doesn't matter what they say, what they write, those they hire. You know, if they, let them go to, they can even go to Russia. There are professional groups in Russia and also in Israel, I must say. You can you you know give them a huge amount of money and they can program something for you so so that fake people will be posting on facebook pretending that they're humans you know you know praising you they can do that for you if you like maybe they, it doesn't matter because we're on the ground in their family we cannot stop them but <laughs> wonderful people of Jafra. do you know why i stop it um i'm walking I'm in the office. I mean, you can see that I can also be in my office and also listening to the do Biafra. It's not a problem. I won't I know many of you would think um, that Metisola is bragging. You can call it bragging, no problem. I can hear, lock my door, and be listening to program on my system. I won't you I know I'll be winning. I greet all of you. Do you know why I stop it? I stop it because he said something about computer-generated machine. They will be praising you. Anya, this man, sometimes what he speaks in his mouth, I don't think whether he knows when these things are coming out. And they are facts and figures. Do you hear what he said? They want me to repeat it. I don't know. I don't know. Any program, any program. What we hear now, they will provide different statement. Someone, if you begin to watch some of the comments, you know that they're always similar. Someone is doing a good job. You will continue crying. You have taken over. You'll be seeing similar, similar things. May God bless someone. Let me repeat it. You can go to Russia. Go to Israel. Anyway, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Any way we could be after they will, the thing will drag them there. Even if you, even if you move in, you could just say, "Oh, he be after." He be telling me program. He can know someone about is doing a good job. Give the line as what is going on. I'm wondering who could be now. Only she repeat it again. He say, "Sana na 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 Russia." Now let me close this program. This is a very brief program, of course, by looking at what Senator Enyina Baribe said about the death of some of his of his constituents tbp is from Mba. a constituent of senator abaribe abaribe said i will mobilize opinion for justice i will not rest until his assailants are caught and brought to book that is how a political leader talks not uh not to um, go, go. But will he go far? Of course he won't. The powers that be in the north will not allow him to either be a governor or to be the speaker or to do something meaningful. Because in Nigeria, they love mediocrity. And that was the seed that Britain planted in Nigeria by promoting the Fulanese that they know themselves as the most backward ethnic group. And today, they're everywhere pillaging and killing. And you have 14, not one, not two, 14 Ruga settlements in Enugu. And people still have the guts to ask us, what would they, let them come out again and we'll show, show them what we're made up of. Right now, this very evening, I thank each and every one of you for listening. And I'm sure you will also propagate this very gospel the best way you know how. That one thing is indisputable. We are not going back. 
we shall continue. Wherever we find them, we shall disgrace them. As simple as that. It doesn't matter what they say, what they write, those they hire. You know, if they, let them go to, they can even go to Russia. There are professional groups in Russia and also in Israel, I must say. You can you, you know, give them a huge amount of money and they can program something for you so, so that fake people will be posting on Facebook pretending that they're humans, you know, mm. you know, praising you. They can do that for you, if you like. But it, it doesn't matter because we're on the ground. In underground. We control the ground, the space. In Biafra, we control it. So they can rig elections for you. <laughs> is, it, is it? That's how to know on ground. Other come, mama, other come, you could go to the Say, Una good, they make noise on social media, but you on ground. Hey, the internet, and you know, they you know, they notice him. You know, they notice him. Ah, even if you watch some couple of minutes ago, I subscribed to a, a channel that I'm going to be using to do my program as from Saturday. I can share it to 15 different Facebook accounts. For many of you that are watching, if you want Metusala to be sharing to your platform, you give me your password, you give me your username. If I log in, I will add it. Mewe program, almost everywhere. So that's what they did. That is why if you watch now, a couple of minutes ago, you see a repeated program on my platform. I said it a long time ago. The thing just started. So they will set it time. Set it time. Maybe this one will start 6 o'clock, this one will start 7 o'clock, this one will start 8 o'clock. They will go and sleep. The thing will be coming on live. Then those uh, machines will come out. You are doing a good job. May God bless you. You are the only person we know. Hey, program, DOS are criminal. Then Zama. They can program all these things. But you that don't have knowledge of these things, may God bless her money. This is what is going on. If you have two I do I should do something now. We, we all of we need to do something. He said on ground. What is going on on ground? So I just want to thank all of you. Normally I wouldn't want to come out today. I was um, about to close um, for today's work. I know a lot of people are writing on social media. I think uh, Facebook have already blocked my have blocked the view again from not seeing what is going on. Let me use another phone. Um, let me use another phone to see what is going on. I know I want to give advice to some of our media team, please. Very, very important. I don't know who is watching me. You can relate this information to others among the media teams. Let us learn how to speak. Let us not be speaking in the favor of the politicians we know that have been killing us for years. You don't praise them. You don't praise them. Even when you think they are doing a good job, assistance now, they are doing nothing. They are chameleons. Not just because uh, we have infiltrators who, who we are praying for Chukul Kaibama to get them and hunt them down. I will now begin to praise all these useless governments. We can't. So we must make sure. I know sometimes uh, we can speak out of anger. We can speak out of, um, you know, Remembrance of what these um, infiltrators must have done to this struggle. Um, we can't be praising those um, governors or political leaders. They never meant well for us. Had even they meant well for us, we would not be in this situation. They are the ones that should be speaking for us. If those governors, those um, senators, House, House of Representatives, if they are good, if they are sensible, me and you will not be doing what we are doing. Now, them go to talk. You don't know that this job we are doing is their job. Speaking for our people, defending our people, seeing for the, our people's welfare. So make anybody know they come, they say, buy you do good, you, this one you do good, you salute, you do good. All of them are criminals. All of them are very useless. All this in him, I'm a dragger. You just enter office. The only project you remember is sit at home. And you, and you are not even trying to say how to bring Mazna Mekano out. Your job is to, so we are going to stop. Sit at home now. We are going to stop it. We are going. As if he, he stop or sit at home, our people things are better. They don't have good. So let them not follow the trail of the infiltrators. It's a trap. It's a trap. On their own. So when you see these infiltrators, they have how to follow them. I know sometimes one will speak out of anger. 
if you watch what happened yesterday, they were bragging now. They were bragging, if you come out now, we shoot you. If you come out, we do this. They are trying to drag the Nigerian military to slaughter our people, and they succeeded in doing it. Have they revenge? No. Is Mbai on the run? No. Have you seen that one of the politicians or maybe governor is down? No. Tomorrow you may hear maybe only Kiaro one policeman in Pankechi only cause support for now this struggle. Now when he was no just because of all new police being a nurse 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 compound. When I got Bobo the man say no na they kill us, make you kill you back. The policeman I won't have one so good or won't have one you house. Oh, we could care. Oh, we policeman support her. There's one picture. I don't know whether many of you have seen it. I want one mobile policeman. You know, Mazen and the cancel the picture. Yeah, how go I don't know whether you have seen. I think he's on a checkpoint or something like that. I, I saw one, um, one, um, uh, it's a mobile police. I remember. Some of you must have seen it. They hug Mazen and the car, they snap picture, and the man was laughing. So, we need to know who to follow. Not just a uh, behavior who can die. And it is that and it is that and okay, what happened? Nothing. What you did was to look at what he did. He went and start talking to United Nations to come to their rescue. United Nations now is where your hope lies to rescue you. Hmm? I don't know our people, but I know they wake up. They wake up. Gradually they wake up. It's not easy. I know it's not. Let me see if I can be able to read what is here. Uh, let me see if I can be able to see it. United Nations should come to their rescue. How? No, no, how? Uh, I thought you have army. Army are meant to protect the life and properties. Then why now calling army? Calling, look at it here. Look at, look at the letter. Hmm? Hmm? Look at the letter. This letter no even cross gate for United Nations. I just, who wrote? As you get one criminal in someone here by to United Nations. Just, just, just watch. Hmm? United Nations, the European Union, the government of United States of America. How many other before? Found out that you know the work. So, in, any leadership now on this struggle. But I have to metal. We have to count down. We written to United Nations. They are going to act. We say, come on, for news or Look at it here. Look at it here. Look at the letter header. Dear sir, or madam, human rights abuse against the people of Enugu State by Petamba, the governor of Imo State, and sorry, the governor of Enugu State, Biafra, Southeast Nigeria. We wish to bring to your notice the gross violation of fundamental human rights. Okonye wana ami you. Okonye wana ami. Una no one wake up. The solution is to look for these people, hunt them down. This is not only the job of IPO. The guy you know they come out outside. He no get job now. He know the two worker. How many they say three to monitor the movement? But they don't. They confess. They know they see him. In the day indoors, only one of the one of the neighbor of the that apartment I meet. Hey, but this guy he been a killer. Basement Gobi. That is why Eba Hakone made that broker's noise. So, I say Agawa Makela. Eba Hakone apartment no underground. You know they move around. I will not go to Australia. You know go anywhere. I will put my life. We monitor them now. Even Australian people say, now make another watch. They know this. You know come anywhere. I got on inside his room. Now go normally travel. You know go anywhere. So, some of you may think that um, Europe is like Africa. You start to begin to carry stick, carry stone, begin to go to somebody's house, break the door, enter. No, it's, it doesn't work like that here. It doesn't function like that. I know some of you use that eye, say, no, nah, nah, they, they are not, nah, they do them anything. You know, they move around because he knows that his life is in danger. The man that sent him to do the job now is in UK, languishing in jail. So now, in the Liberation Army, look at what he's writing. We wish to bring to your notice the gross violation and fundamental human rights abuse of people of Enugu State, Biafra. Petamba is confiscating and locking up people's business and means of substances without recourse to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
Oh, basically, oh, basically, only a quick question, Nigeria. Like, oh, basically, his own writing on the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria. You know, never do this thing before, Bia France. You know, they, you know, they wake up. Well, I know many of you are waking up. You just uh, some few individuals. The child, you take the dragon. Can we call him the dragon? Or the, or the dragon. It is a dragon. You can't even go the United Nations. So I'm a dragon. Le coin on your United Nations letter, le coin Jimena logo Dragon or said Dragon, send that United Nation. I want her stamp, not stamp that has the African government in Ezra. Our Dragon, I got United Nations bows. Is it go terrace or whatever? Yeah, let the letter. I am a dragon. We should walk on. You work in up. When you wake up. Mm? Yes, Kela. Sorry, Kela is a, a you are correct. Kela is a is German language. Uh, is, I think it's basement. It's basement. I mean basement. So these are the letter he wrote to United Nations. But this guy now said here, let me see what I will, I save it. On your on your United Nations now. Look at it. Look at him here now. Look at him here. I don't know. Our people well. Our people only just shake, only shake, only shake. Wake you up, only shake. Wake you. Hey, John, you can't carry. Care, you care about so. Care about delete. Tell them the ten. Have I deleted it? Ever go, go. We have army. We have, we have everything. We have all. Hmm. Now what was that? United Nation. Kine Desiree letter. Hmm. I don't know whether I have deleted it. I think I have deleted it. It's not here. Look when look when care on the Jesus Hamashia. Look when they care. Turn away from the faith of Jesus Christ. You seem to have done that. I've told you people in the first instance. I'm a born again Christian. If you put my faith as a believer, I'm Biafra. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will take my faith first. If it's the only thing, I will abandon Biafra and go to heaven. Then God has made me Biafra, and He said something is going wrong. Speak for your people. That in the first instance, I am a born again Christian. The believer and servant of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, the Son of the Living God. If you, if you have that, if, there is nothing you can say. Nothing. I can compromise it. I would rather stop being a dear friend today and focus that I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Finish. <laughs> Anger just to revisit this struggle. Jokolo Mwanya Jujo. I need to do one job. So what are we looking for? On your hand, na come on, what's on at the forefront of freedom fighters? It's okay. I have to leave all of you here. Normally, I don't know if I know I would have started this program later. I'm about to go. Um, we are gonna meet tomorrow. We are gonna meet tomorrow. I'm going to do your job. I'm going to do your Hmm. Look here, come out on our brother. You sure have a share. I'll say, bring Biafra. Oh, and Daniel Hannah, they struggle. You cannot, because of Biafra, turn away from the faith of Jesus Christ. You seem to have done that. I have told you people, in the first instance, I'm a born again Christian. If you put my faith as a believer, I'm Biafra. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will take my faith first. If it's the only thing, I will abandon Biafra and go to heaven. Then God has made me Biafra. And he said, something is going wrong. Speak for your people. But in the first instance, I am a born again Christian. A believer and servant of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, the son of the living God. If you, if you have that, if, there is nothing you can say. Nothing. I can compromise it. I would rather stop being a Biafra today and focus that I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Finish. Finish. Finish, finish, <laughs> finish. So, and then you have the struggle. And then you have come So, I have to leave all of you here. I have to leave all of you. I want you to remember this. Remember this. Uh, those people killed. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. You have become a victim. Uh, you have been a victim. And um, this is what they have been looking for. And those governors, those governors, those governors. Have you monitored them every time they were being appointed? This is the best thing they go is sit at home. 
That is the first project. They will visit. They will not ask, why are people sitting at home on Mondays? But the only problem I had that made me sometimes I look as if I'm a little bit dicey in this situation. This sit at home has been going on without any claiming, without any, you know, problem. Until a group came and tried to muzzle power to claim it. Some of you that are watching, when they put this sit at home, when people will have been observing sit at home from the onset, is there anything like autopilot? The answer is no. Is there anything like Biafran government in exile? The answer is no. Then who are those that are observing the sit at home? They are called Biafrans. But somebody came and tried to hijack it. Come out and you go die. So some of you are supposed to take your grievances to the criminal in Finland and his agent. I know our brother Kenga, I have to mention his name. Our brother Kenga, I can I can say he his utterance is out of annoyance. He's the one that is praising Mba. Do this, do that. You must do this, do that. It's out of anger. But sometimes we need to control ourselves on what we say. I can't come out and begin to praise them. Are they mad? I know are they crazy? No, I can't try such. Um we are gonna we are gonna we are gonna draw the content here. Remembrance. Metrisala is signing out from the beautiful city of Vienna, Austria. In my small place where I do drawing. As for many of you that didn't know what I do, I draw, I design, and I build. Sometimes it's a no it's a hard time we started showing what we do. At least let people know us. Not every day, all here Biafra. At least as you can know, these are the handwork, these are the product of Metrisa. We design, we build, we even do sanitization. What we are doing now is construction of underground tunnel. So we do we also do we design bridges. So these are the things we do that doesn't give us a little bit time to focus. Someone is a jobless man, he's not doing anything. If I'm jobless, I will do more than what he's doing. If I'm jobless, I will do a lot. But um I can't abandon what I'm doing and um begin to every minute be afra. Be afra. Even as I'm at work, I listen to Mas Man kind of broadcast. But um be as it may be, um I just want all of you. <laughs> you can't as much as you are boasting. I need to brag. <laughs> if we peace go, peace go, say, let me brag. I need to brag. My brother, make I know brag small. No, we have a Photoshop. I have a Photoshop. Hmm? Yeah, I have a Photoshop. Hmm? This is not Photoshop, my brother. Hmm? No, no Photoshop. I wanna. It's okay, my two sons. It's okay. It's okay. Can't hide here. Can't hide. Um. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, I will contact you for a house design, please. Uh, yes, it's okay. It's okay, brother. Um, <laughs> my brother, I'm boasting because I want to boast. <laughs> Nobody should attack this, our brother. He's just joking, please. Ima, dear friends, I know it's so hard to run. Haga, 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 our brother. They will not understand that you're joking. So, can I hear? We're going to meet what is necessary. Remember, blessed brothers. Remember, blessed.